In this video, I'm going to show how to design and create some bevel gears. We can see right here, uh, the purpose of a bevel gear is to uh, mesh two gears at an angle. Uh, this angle, I made 45 degree gears at, uh, so we're making a 90 degree angle. So the way we're going to get started on this is we're going to open up a new on shape here. And I'm going to create a sketch placing it on my top work plane. I'm going to orientate myself. Actually, I lied. I'm going to go back and I'm going to place my sketch on the front. It'll make it a little bit easier for what we're trying to accomplish. So I'm going to place my sketch on the front work plane and I'm going to orientate myself to this. I'm going to grab my uh, center point circle tool and I'm going to make a three inch uh, circle. Next thing I'm going to do is come up here to my line tool. I'm going to click on my construction line and I'm just going to build a construction line vertical here. I'm going to use this later to mirror. So all I'm going to do is draw the general shape of my gear that I want. So we have that there. And now I'm going to dimension it how I want it. So this top portion here, I'm going to dimension 0.125. Uh, I want the height of my gear here, oh, there we go, to be 0.25. And I want the width to that construction line to be 0.25 as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my mirror tool. I'm going to click on that construction line that I created. Then I'm going to cl click on the lines that I want to mirror across that. So now we can see we have that symmetrical mirroring. I'm going to come here to my circular pattern tool. I'm going to select all the lines that I want to pattern. And green check mark. And we can see we've patterned that three times. I'm going to change this. And for this specific gear, I'm going to pattern that 15 times. So I'm going to leave this sketch alone. So and what I'm going to do now is, as we angle this away, I'm going to put a plane down. I'm going to put a plane down in that front plane, and I'm going to offset this plane 0.75 inches. Uh, this is going to help me create that 45 degree angle. So I'm going to lay, put another sketch down. I'm going to place it on that plane one. And what we're going to do next is draw the top portion of the gear. To do this, we're going to go through the exact same process. I'm going to give, grab my center point circle tool. I'm going to draw a 1.5. Well, I'm not on that center point. Let's do that again. I'm going to do a 1.5 inch circle. I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to draw that same shape. Now, because I'm tapering, as I go up, I'm going to use the loft tool on this. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller up here now. So I'm going to go to my dimension tool. I'm going to go, oh, I need that construction line that I forgot to build. And now I'm going to do my dimension tool. I'm going to do to the bottom point, to the bottom width is 0.125. I'm going to do the height of this gear. There we go, is going to be 0.2. And this line here is 0.08. Now we're going to mirror it just like we did before. There's our center line. We're going to mirror these two lines. We're going to use our circular pattern tool. And we're going to click on the lines we want to pattern. Green check mark, lay that down, and we're going to change this to 15 times. So now I can green check mark it and I can come back out. I'm going to come to my uh, loft tool. I'm going to select my sketch one, loft it to sketch two. And we can see we have that bevel gear being uh, created. Uh, we're going to, uh, in the next video, create the hole for the axle and the back peg for the axle to slide through as well.